Hello everyone, I just published the GVDS new template and I want to make a short video to show you how you can use them. Maybe Robert will make a better video for you later on, but I just want to make something quick because I know a lot of you are starting sprinting on Monday and you're waiting on the template. So I just want to make a video very quickly for you. So to access the template, first thing you need to be a member of Robert's amazing workspace. And if you don't see this little template menu on the left navigation, the chance is that you are not. If that is the case for you, then you need to ask Robert about it. And I don't have any control of that. But if you can access the template, then you can click on it. And on the second tab bar, then you will see the first row here are all the new templates. And yes, they will be in night mode. I did that on purpose because we spent a lot of hours sprinting every single day. Night mode is going to save your eyesight. Just little care for you. To use the template, you can see this little arrow key. When you click on that, then you can choose new mural from template. You can choose to put it in a new team room that you have or choose to put it in your personal room. And then you want to click on that create mural button. Once you create a mural, first thing you want to is rename that. So um, I'll just say my team name. Okay. So same here, you want to rename that as well. So it, it claims that it's your teams. And then you will see a few things here. Besides that, it's going to be in night mode. You will see this process bar that I put in all the exercise that we typically do during the GVDS. So you will see like day one, day two, they're color coded. So when I'm on the day one mural, then you will see the day one online exercise are going to be colored in orange. So when I'm on the day two, then you will see the day two uh, exercise are going to be colored in orange and so on. The light gray ones are the exercise that is to be done offline. And the darker gray ones are the ones that are online exercise, but not done on this mural. So like the day two and so on, they are all grayed out. And you can see here have a little open mural button. It's just a placeholder there. If you don't want them, you can just simply click on that and delete that. But the idea was that you can click on this edit link and then you can paste the mural that you have from your kickoff uh, section, from your problem framing section or anything else. And you will see that on day two, then you can also put in the day one mural link here as well. So each mural you want to edit the links here if you choose to use them. Otherwise, you can just delete them. And on the top right corner, also the same idea. So there's a time zone converter. You can just click on that open link and then it will open a little time converter for you. And here, um, I will be linking all the templates to the video that you're actually watching. And the last button is where it will go to the next mural. So the mural that is going to be for your next day. Because some of the exercise you see here, for example, between day two and three, there can be some offline exercise and this exercise itself is going to be in the day three mural. So that's why I put in this little button to bring you to the next mural. So to edit that, you just click on that text and then you can put in the link of your next mural here. So day four mural, and then here's my day four mural. Click on the share button, copy the link, and then go back to the day three mural and then paste the link back here. And now when I click on this, then it will open the day four mural. See here. So that's the idea. Um, if you don't want to use it, you can just delete them. And to unlock anything here, you can just right click and unlock a certain item. Or you can hold down the shift command key. And then now even the items are locked, you can still select them. And then when you right click, then you can unlock selection that way. And you can see on the mural itself, it doesn't have much instructions. So I have put all the instructions actually on the outline. And when you click on it, then you'll see all the step-by-step -step guide. What I have done also is I added some links so in case you want to watch a video about that particular exercise you can also find them here and one thing that I want to point out is that when you go to the day five mural uh, on the outline there on the instruction there you will see that little link at the bottom actually when you open that it will give you some concrete examples of how to do user testing so it even have like a step-by-step -step guide and some examples of uh, the post that how you can send out to recruit user testers you may not need to worry about that for now but when you get to the day five just keep in mind that it's there 
And I think that's it. Um, I may make a better video later on, or Robert may do one uh, so he explains things a little bit better. But for now, I just want to get this out very quickly because I know you are waiting for this. So thanks for watching and let me know if you get any feedback when you use the template or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to just contact me. Okay, all right. Talk to you later. Bye.